Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. In this video, um, I'll show you how to construct uh, the IS curve uh, by using a kind of a different technique. Okay, so before we do that, uh, let us just try to recap um, what we have uh, discussed uh, so far from the previous videos. So basically the IS curve, okay, we're going to construct the IS curve to uh, analyze the equilibrium in the product market. So we're going to be relying on the second equation okay, for the equilibrium condition where uh, the total amount of leak, uh, injections uh, must equal to the total amount of injections. Investment plus government spending must equal to saving plus taxation. So basically the IS curve is, uh, sh uh, would show us the combinations of income level Y and interest rate R that basically equilibrate the product market. So we're going to uh, again assume a private and closed economy with no government and no international trade. So by doing that, we have simplified our, our equation number two, uh, which is the equilibrium condition in the product market to be simply uh, an, uh, an, an equation that consists of investment to the, on the left hand side and saving on the right hand side. And we have also discussed that investment is a negative function of uh, uh, is negatively affected by interest rate while saving is, has a positive relationship with uh, income level. Okay, so in the previous uh, video, okay, basically we have uh, constructed the IS curve by using this method. Okay, it's just that in our university, okay, there is a, also we can use um, uh, this um, uh, graph by combining both the investment and saving schedules uh, in, in one plane, okay, in one plane. So take note that what we're going to do is that, first of all, we're going to still uh, uh, draw the investment schedule. Now take note that investment schedule is uh, downward sloping because of the negative relationship between interest rate and investment. Now imagine that we are putting a mirror over here, okay, a mirror over here, and I need to reproduce uh, the mirror image of the uh, investment schedule. Okay, so that's basically what we are doing here, where we have interest rate on the vertical axis and investment okay to be on the uh, horizontal axis but this is now on the uh, in this region okay in this region so now what uh, we can also you know try to analyze okay so let's say when interest rate is low uh, at r0 we know that the quantity of investment would be relatively high okay so let's say this is uh, investment that correspond to this okay and um, Similarly, when the interest rate is high, okay, when interest rate is high at R1, uh, a smaller amount of investment would be demanded. So let's say this is um, this is the point. So we can simply connect, okay, these two points, and this would be our investment shadow I, which is a function, okay, uh, a function of R, okay, interest rate, and then uh, for the saving shadow, we're going to reproduce it. Okay, we're going to reproduce this. Imagine now we are putting a mirror over here. So now I need to reproduce a mirror image of this graph because now saving is being measured in this region where I have a saving now to be the uh, on the vertical axis while income, okay, on the uh, horizontal axis, okay. So uh, we know that there is a positive relationship. So when... Um, and to do that, before we do that, so let's say this is the 45 degree line, okay, the 45 degree line. So remember, 45 degree line would basically means that all the points along this line would mean both the values on the horizontal and the vertical axis are equal. So in other words, this is our equilibrium condition, okay, equilibrium condition. Okay, let me just put that down. Equilibrium condition where along this line, okay, we know that investment, okay, would equals to saving, okay, whatever that we have on this point, okay, along this, along this line would basically be the, um, uh, the equilibrium condition, okay, so from when this is, okay, so let's start with the high level of investment, okay, at I0, can, can basically get this line, okay, so this would be the corresponding saving, right saving amount that is needed to make sure that the product market will be in equilibrium okay and uh, this uh, amount okay of um, saving okay would basically be a function okay of uh, income 
Okay, so how would this be um, shown? Okay, so when the, this uh, level of uh, saving okay is um, is high, that means that um, the uh, income okay level must also be very high. Okay, must be very high because uh, uh, to 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 enable uh, such a high level of saving. And when investment is low, okay, when investment is low, okay, so lower amount of saving is needed uh, to make sure that the market will be in equilibrium. So lower amount of saving, okay, we can achieve that, okay, when our income level is relatively low. So let's say this is another point. And we can combine these two points. And remember, these are basically the mirror image of what we have drawn earlier. So it may be start somewhere over here. Okay. okay, so basically it should basically connect huh? all these points. must be connected. Sorry about my um, uh, bad drawing skills. And this is basically our saving schedule, uh, which is a, a function of income. And take note that we start somewhere positive because there is a, a region where we are doing this saving or borrowing in order to sustain huh, our, uh, our living, okay, our consumption expenditure. Um, now we already have a combinations, okay, two combinations, okay, of uh, interest rate and uh, income level. Okay, so the first one will be R1 and Y1, and the second one is somewhere here, R0 and Y0. So when we have two points, we can uh, connect these two points, and this is basically our IS schedule, where it shows the combinations of interest rate and income level that will basically make sure that our product market will be in equilibrium. So that's all for now. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the uh, other videos, inshallah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.